Okay, welcome to Roblox High School. Roleplay, play, hang out, and make to do friends. Enjoy yourself and have fun here. Yay! Woo! What's going on, guys? It's Pepe, and I'm ready to go cray cray once again. This time, um, we're on the next part of the Finding Dory. And if you haven't seen the last video, I suggest checking it out because you're missing out from all my craziness that I've been going cray cray, but you don't have to. But what you missed out was um, there's an event going on in Roblox called the Finding Dory event, whatever it is, but I'm not advertising. So it was also my first time playing the Roblox um, Rose Citizens. Anyways, let's check out what this is. Welcome to a round the world event at Roblox High School. Come get a taste of Okay, back to where we left off. Anyways. Um <laughs> Yeah, 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 I got that. Anyways, what I was just saying, I am not good at history. <laughs> yeah. In this school you'll find a student made project near history class featuring Japan and a model of one of its most popular landmarks. The Temple of Golden Pavilion. You'll be taught more about Japan's culture and history to help you ace the quiz. I just got out of I just got out of school. Each country has five questions. Get at least four correct to pass the quiz and earn a sweet prize for your Roblox character. Enjoy the event. Okay, so we have a thing to choose here. Since I graduated, I'm done being a freshman. I'm gonna be a sophomore. All right. The world is a book for those who not travel on one page. So pack your bags. We're going on a trip around the world. Enjoy taking some slides while you're at it. Complete some of the quizzes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You probably are wondering why I look like this. This is like a boy's outfit. Hello everyone, I'm your new principal, Mrs. Le Miss Lexi. Cool. Anyways, um, I cut my hair. <laughs> it's actually short hair now, so. Whoa. Okay, this is like really weird because I, I do not take Spanish. <laughs> I, I don't speak it. But um, back in my um, high s um, middle school, in seventh grade, you were forced to take Spanish. Which really bugged me. Also, a known fact about me, I love Japanese stuff. If, if it's mangas, anime, video games, anything anim- uh, not anime. <laughs> Japanese in general, I love. Japanese was going to be um, a language I want to take, but then later on I decided um, to take another language, which is French. And I actually like it. What kind of my school project on Japan? Can you teach me about Japan? Sure, Japan is an island country located in East Asia. You can see it on the map I've got here. The capital of Japan is Tokyo. Okay, yeah, I know about those two. Despite it being a small country area-wise, it actually has a population of about 127 million people, over a third of the United States population. Oh my. The geography of Japan is fairly mount mountainous because Japan sits on top of the tectonic plate borders. Tectonic plates are basically different sections of Earth which slide against each other very slowly. <sighs> These sliding movies create mountains along the plate borders. So, so th this is not Japanese. We're learning about science too. Oh boy. I hate science. The tallest and most iconic mountain in Japan is named Mount Fuji. It is 12,389 feet tall, or 3,776 meters tall. That's over two miles. 
Mount Fuji is a popular symbol in Japanese art and photography, and mainly thousands of people each year sent out to climb the incre this incredible mountain. Cool. Lastly, an iconic cultural symbol in Japan is the cherry blossom. Oh yeah, I'm definitely aware about that. Especially if you're someone who's a Kingdom Hearts fan, aka Marluxia. Cherry blossoms generally appear in Japan around the start of springtime, beginning of April. In most places, they are pink flowers, which to the J Japanese represent the beauty of life. They only stay for a week or two, so it's important to truly appreciate them during that short time window. The arrival of springtime and the cherry blossom marks a new beginning uh, to the Japanese. In fact, for that very reason, April is also when the Japanese school year starts. It's the perfect time for them to start a new. Their school year consists of two terms, April to July, and then September, December, vacations in between quite unlike many other countries in the world, but that seems really cool to me. Yeah, okay, yes, I'm making Americans way different. Um, or if you won't, the French culture, though, is kind of odd. They, they do it backwards, but I find it cool, though. Like, you need to go to a college for free, but you have to. College free, honestly, I'm sorry. No, no, no. You need to go to a college if you pass a test, but if you don't, you're gonna have to keep taking it, and they do grades, yeah, I'm gonna go to France all day. And that wraps up my presentation about the country of Japan. I hope you enjoyed it and learned some new things as a result. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Anything else you want to hear about? What is that golden temple? That is the Kinkakuji, the temple of the golden palavan located in Kaito, Japan. The Golden Palavan is a said Buddhist temple which founded in 1397 after being purchased from a previous owner. As the name suggests, the temple is covered with gold leaf and it overlooks as a beautiful pond. Have a look at the real life picture I got over there. Holy Hanover, these look nice. They do look impressive. I agree, the Golden Palavan has been around for a long time and is one of the most Japan's most famous landmarks. Yeah, I usually see that a lot in Japanese culture. In 1950 though, there was a very unexpected turn of events. A monk set the Gold Palavan on fire and completely destroyed the entire building. What, you flipping serious? Why would they do that? That is crazy. It was a truly unbelievable act. However, the good news is that the Golden Pelican was rebuilt five years later and is now stands even stronger and more visually impressive than the original structure. That's good. Today, the Golden Pelican is open to all types of visitors and remains one of the most popular locations in the country, especially for tourists. I hope you enjoyed that little presentation and learned a few things about this amazing Japanese landmark. I did. Right to here, is there anything else? Your project looks great. Thanks, I really appreciate it. I spent a lot of time working on this. What are the answers to the quiz? I can't just tell you the direct answers. That's cheating. I'd be happy to present my project to you though, and maybe the new found knowledge will help you pass the quiz fairly. Goodbye. Okay, that's really good. I like that. Um, okay, we also need to learn about Spain. Nope, nope. Where is Spain? Oh my gosh, I forgot I just locked on. Looks like, so wait, where is the Spanish, um, I mean, learning all this Spain stuff? Uniforms? Because if there's a, a place for them to study all the Japanese culture, why not? So for Spain. 
Back to his class or something. Up oh, there's the auditorium. I guess while I'm looking around, I guess I'll say some stuff. Yeah, I'm actually a freshman. I was a freshman. Um, to uh, high school actually, and actually, I actually enjoyed my um my freshman year, but it could always get better or worse. Detention. Um. And also, you get to choose, like, up to four electives, but if you're somebody who um, needs special help, then you're only gonna have three. Science. Alright. I guess... Oh yeah, the music class. Alright, anyways, I guess there's just this. Oh, here it is. Take the quiz. What is the capital city of Japan? Tokyo. Kinkaji Temple of the Colon Pavilion in Kaito is a temple dedicated to which major Japanese religion? Uh, Buddhism? The Golden Pavilion was originally founded in 1397, but it was destroyed in 1915 ha after uh, a fire. Along with the cold gold of the moon, it's also a home which of these legendary Mount Fuji. Unlike uh, many other countries, Japan's school year starts in which month? July? Nice. Oh, nice, I got an 80. I'll have to look back in my other video what I got. I mean, what I did wrong. Oh. Wait, but where am I going to learn all the Spanish stuff? The Plaza de España. Ah, uh, that's where I'm supposed to go. I feel like an idiot. Well, that was interesting. Um, so, during my freshman year, um, I didn't really get to be in the first two weeks due to an Ill illness I had, but at least I'm doing good. Um, period four is starting. <sighs> That's usually what we call home. Because we only have four periods, not nine or eight or how many you usually have. Um, I guess I'll skate there. Get on the stupid, yay. All right, where is this, um, is this it? It looks nice, holy fudge. Did the creator of this place actually build this? Pick up, pick up, thank you, okay. And, yeah. Hola, welcome to the Plaza de España. Apologies if I cannot pronounce things correctly. Can you tell me more about this place? The Plaza de España, the Spain Square in English, is a plaza built in the Spanish city of Seville in the year 1928. What was it built for? The Plaza de España was originally built for hosting the 1929 Liberal American exposition a world fair to many where many countries would come together showcase their latest accomplishments <sighs> the building surrounded the plaza hosting these exhibits and showing off spain incredibly architecture after the exposure was over they were repurposed in mostly government buildings and the plaza is now a popular recreation area so, art, okay. No problem. If you're looking for even more information, some of the other people here could probably tell you a few things. Anything else you want to talk to me about? How do you feel about the quizzes? 
Ah, Dios mio, I was one of the worst test takers in school. Why do you ask? I have to take a quiz on Spain. Well, Buna Solti, good luck on the quiz. I'm sure that my knowledge will help you ace it. Try talking to some of the other people in the plaza too. They might be able to share even more helpful info with you. Okay. So. Oh, no, 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 no. It was built in 1929. And it was like an art detector. Alright. Hola, Kita. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Pretty good. I came a long way to visit the Plaza de España, and here it was well worth the travel time. This place looks incredible. Where are you from? I live in Major, the capital of Spain. Madrid had its own landmark named Plaza España, but in my opinion, the one in Seville tops it. How long did it take to get here? It was about five hours drive. I made sure to take a seat and midday nap before the long trip. I needed the extra rest. Oh wow. Cool, nice talking to you. Thanks for chatting with me. Hasta luego. This feels weird because I don't take Spanish or Japanese. Okay, why why are they doing it? A Spanish and a Japanese. They need to do other languages too. This is weird because right now we got some like pff, there's weird stuff going on with Ah, hola, como estas? Nice to see you. Thanks. I'm good. What's up? Not much. I'm just hanging out here like I do most days. This is one of my favorite places to visit. It's so beautiful. Cool. Yeah, sometimes I also like to go watch the local football game, or football games, or soccer, as it's called in America. I'll always be rooting for Siva FC. Is that the most popular sport in Spain? Today, it definitely is. Lots of people in Spain love to watch football, including the rest of my family. Nice. For a very long time, though, bullfighting was a beloved tradition all across Spain. A matador would enter the ring and go face to face with a bull to impress the audience. I've been to one before and I thought it was pretty thrilling event. Interesting, thanks. You're welcome. It was good talking with you. Adios. Uh, is that what people I talk to? Because, wow, they don't really teach a lot about Spain. But who doesn't have so I mean, yeah, but football is actually popular all over the world. Duh. Right, let's take a Spanish quiz. So while going over to there, um, I guess my thoughts on the movie of Finding Dory, I'm somewhat excited, but at the same time not because I feel like the movie is not going to be as good as the original. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love Disney movies, but... Recently, the Disney movies, um, like the new ones, have been alright. I was more of a person who would watch the old classic Disney movies. Alright, um, I am ready. Alright, I am ready for the Spanish quiz of the culture. Capital of Spain. Severe? And what year did the plaza Bodge? Fourteen ninety two. For what purpose was originally built? To make I'm happy. Siesta so what's not What is a siesta? Uh oh. Oh, um, I think she told me it was an ap afternoon nap. 
It was bull fighting. Fudge! I knew it. Okay. I hate culture. I have to... Uh, I was just the person who would retake the quiz. Alright, speaking of retake, we should actually think about the Japanese culture of things. Alright. Um, it was Tokyo. Hi. Buddhism. Fire. Yeah. Mount Fuji. I think it was September. Dang it. <sighs> oh my gosh. Are you are you trying to flirt with me, girl? I'm a I'm a girl, first of all. I really need to start really adjusting my character because This is embarrassing because first of all, I'm recording a video for this purpose, aka Run! Where's the stairs? <laughs> Run away! Long far as possible. I broke it! Whoa, this is the coolest car. I can't even drive it. Okay. All right, can I please retake the quiz? I don't want to talk to Rose. Oh, here we go. Uh, Madrid. 1928. No, it was hosting a world fair a uh, special party bullfighting yes oh okay finally I'm done don't have to talk to Rose sorry girl if you're watching this video I I don't mind you, I'm just too busy or thinking about my YouTube life. Anyways, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll be going off to the next one, which I d don't remember because I was too busy thinking about this stupid quiz. Quizzes. Because I don't get why I need this knowledge, first of all. Did Roblox actually turn into an education game? That's not normal. Okay, geography. So we learned about, I guess this was somewhat an educational video for you guys. Um, because I don't think anyone has been making videos for the Funding Dory thing, which I am not sponsoring. I am doing this for fun. So yeah, you probably learned a thing or two about these two cultures. And you probably learned a thing about my, my actual school life. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Um... I will go.